Hi, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up um, custom fonts using CSS and the at font face rule. Um, it's pretty quick, so uh, let's let's dive right in. So here you can see is a design, a really simple design I've done, and you can see that there are two different custom fonts here that I want to use in my design. The first is Molen, and the second one here is Chapaza. Um, so I've what I've done is I've downloaded these fonts already from um, dafont.com. Um, so you can see here the Chapaza font and the Molen font. So I've downloaded the files. Um, you can see here Molen bold and regular, and I've gone for the italic and regular for the Chapaza. Um, and I've also just set up um, a basic HTML and CSS page uh, with the general design um, that I've got here without the custom font. So we're going to set that up now. Um, so the first thing we'll need to do is you can see here in my two uh, in the fonts that I've downloaded that I've only got well I've got actually different uh, file extensions uh, different formats so OTF for the Molen and you've got here TTF for the Chapaza and what we need uh, for each of the fonts is we need various different file extensions various different formats of the fonts so that they comply um, or they they work well across different browsers. Um, fortunately, that's really easy to do. All you need to do is basically go to a, a, a service like Transfonter. Uh, make sure you have all these selected down here because they're the different formats that you need. And then simply just press Add Fonts and, and upload them. Um, I've already uh, gone ahead and done that here. So you can see now here's all the fonts, uh, with all the different various um, extensions and formats. Um, so I'm good to go. Um, and the next step is quite simply to add the fonts to the project, uh, the font files. So to do that, um, it, it's it's you can do that really how, how you want. It depends on the structure of your project. Um, but I'm going to put them all in a in a fonts folder because um, there's quite a few of them. So I'm just going to drag these. Yeah, so there you go. So now the fonts been added. Great. Um, and so the next step is to actually write the app font face rule um, so that our project can essentially reference the files um, that we have placed in the project. Um, so I, I never remember the full app font face rule um, because, I mean, you typically only, only use it at the beginning of a project anyway. So I, I don't really think um, it's necessary to remember it. So. I've also written a blog post which kind of accompanies this video and in step three, I'll link it below, um, you'll see that you can just grab an at font face declaration here um, and, uh, and and use that. So it will need a bit of editing, but um, we'll use it as a kind of base. So as you can see, um, the font family I've got here is Caviar Dreams, which is not the font, one of the fonts which we want to use. Um, so let's start off with um, Chapaza regular so we want to add in the Chapaza regular font so I'm just going to change this here and call it Chapaza regular okay and you'll also notice here that what we need to do is reference the files in our folder here um, so quite simply you just need to um, replace all these different uh, reference files to the ones in your actual project. So I've just gone through here, hit Command D, you can do that in Visual Studio Code to select all, and then I'm just going to copy them here. So, so that now uh, is the Chapaza regular. Um, we can actually check if that's working uh, quickly by adding the actual CSS, writing the CSS to reference that font. So adding the app font face doesn't actually add it to your projects. So if we if we go now to the design and refresh, you see it's still not, um, the Chapaza font is still not working here. So to, to make it work, you actually need to add uh, the font family that you've um, just added. So we're going to, so now when I save it and refresh, you'll see that there you go, the fonts now loaded. That, that's pretty much how you add custom fonts, um, but there are a few extra things worth mentioning. So what if you want to add, um, different um, weights of a font, so bold, semi-bold, or if you want to do um, different styles, so regular italic. Um, that's fairly simple to do, so we're just going to carry on here and do those. Um, so let's go and do the uh, Chapaza italic, um, which you can see here is in, in my files. So I'm actually just going to change 
all these to Chapaz Italic. And importantly, you need to change the font style here, obviously, to Italic as well. Um, 400, by the way, the weight 400 is the standard weight for uh, the regular font. So we're using the regular font here for the Chapaza. Um, and now just to test if this is working, let's, um, let's do a couple of things. First is we want to um, make the EM, we can target all the EM, use of EM in the project, and we can use the font family. Has a italic, and you can see I actually forgot some semicolons here. And then, um, if we refresh, I haven't actually added any M elements into the project, so let me do that here. I'm gonna add some EM there. Okay, so the venison bacon has now been added to VN, so you can see now that it uses the um. Chapaza italic font here, which is great. Cool. So now let's finally add the other font. So right now we've added two fonts, um, two of the same fonts, Chapaza. And now let's add the the kind of in our design here the the, the headline text. Um, so to do that again, we're just going to copy you know more of these, um, and it, again just go through the process of changing the. Uh, the, the, the font files here that I referenced. So we're going to go model and bold um, and we're going to just copy that and we're going to just simply go through and we're going to replace all of these. Model and bold. You can see I forgot the M there. Model and bold. Okay. And now um, you want to change the font weight here because this font is bold and the the kind of standard for um, bold is actually 700 um, and this one is not italic this one is actually normal as well um, so once we've got that set up now what we can do is um, you see again if I refresh it it's not working yet because we need to add it to the CSS so if we now go to I've, I've written out the selectors here for the different um, different headlines elements um, so again let's just write out the uh, the font family that we've just created um, and then if we refresh here that should work cool so that's basically it that's how you set up um, custom fonts a um, couple of things worth mentioning um, if you want to on, on a kind of performance note um, there is a fairly new descriptor added called um, font display and what this does, what this does is basically it allows you to define how you want the um, font to load. Basically, when the font's loading, how do you want it to work? Um, how do you want the fullback font to kind of work? So we haven't actually set any fullback fonts here. So let's say, for example, if Molon Bold for whatever reason uh, doesn't work, uh, we want to use Helvetica as a backup, and then for Trapaza let's just use Georgia and then we'll put it here as well Georgia okay so we've we've added some fullback fonts and now uh, we can use the the font display descriptor here um, or declaration sorry and uh, we I there are quite a few values that you can use um, in the blog post uh, link below there's a there's a, a couple of um, resources there you can check out which go into more detail but essentially this is defining how you want the fullback font to kind of work when the page loads so um, the best way to, to kind of understand it is probably by looking at a real example so I've got the BBC Sport uh, the football page open here and um, as a good way to test kind of performance, you can go into the network tab in the Chrome DevTools and um, choose how quickly you want it to load. So let's just do a fast 3G. Um, and you need just to carefully watch and see how the font um, changes as the page loads. It's pretty fast. So um, if I refresh here, there is one font. There you go. Do you see that slight change? So it, the font the font loads initially, and then it changes to, to their custom font. 
So this is obviously really subtle, but they're using um, they're using font display swap, which I tend to use as well because it basically means that it will always show a font to the it will always show the fallback font while the custom font is loading. Um, so we'll just add that to all on here. Um, and that's it, we've done. So we've added the custom fonts um, and you're good to go. Thanks very much.